Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel, I'm Painting Hyun. Today's video we are going to be painting beautiful cosmos field. Start by sketching with 2H pencil. First, draw a large size of circle for the outer shape of the flower and a small size circle to the center. And then draw 8 lines from the center to out outer for each petals of the veins and draw the curved stem. And draw small cosmos flower here and there as if they are flying. Next for the coloring, I'm mixing white and quinacridone magenta for the flowers. Cerulean blue for the sky. And sap green and ultramarine deep for the leaves. In this painting, I am going to paint the flower first and then the background afterward. I am wetting the paper and, and then painting each petals with light equinocuridone magenta one by one. Leave some white space in the middle of the each petal. Take a look at the, my paper. See how smoothly the colors are spreading. It looks so beautiful. Change a brush and take uh, ultramarine deep into the mixture of magenta and white. I got a beautiful color. So to draw the edge of the petals using tapping, uh, dotting, and short lines. Draw with short lines with uh, uneven lines and some jagged lines. Draw some veins from center to edge or edge to center nicely. Use the tip of the brush. Using a slightly deeper quinacridone magenta, draw the right size of the pattern and paint the petals below the flower in the darker shade. Draw veins nicely and smoothly. This paper is still very damp, so the colors will be spread very nicely and beautifully.
this paper is still very damp, so you should do your brush stroke uh, softly, move softly and quickly. And also draw the veins uh, slowly and nicely and just using the tip of the brush. Next, we are going to add some cerulean blue to the upward of the pattern. This cerulean blue will be used in the background. So I'm applying it to the pattern for, for a natural harmony throughout the entire painting. Draw some veins with cerulean blue. Now I'm using a tiny fine brush for detailing and drawing thin lines. I will paint a dark and thick magenta in the center of the flower. This will make the edge of the petals appear lighter, looks lighter. It's time to paint the background. Apply a good amount of water to the background to use a loose style. Be careful while applying water, making sure to avoid the flower area. If water touches the flower area, the background color can easily seep into the flower. However, if this happens, don't worry about it we can easily fix it. Let me show you later on. I have washed the paper and then now I'm applying the cerulean blue in the background smoothly. I'm using a big round brush, big rise mop brush. Tilt the paper. I used very light uh, cerulean blue in the background. I'm making some patterns in the background. So my brush wiggled on the some paper and uh, uh, tilt the paper. Now I'm going to use one of my favorite techniques, the spreader technique. I'll be splashing magenta onto the painting to achieve a natural look. Here and there.
When the background is still wet, you should paint small flowers here and there in the distance. If you are not satisfied with your flower, why not give it another try? I'm mixing cerulean blue and quinacridone magenta to paint a small flower in the lower part of the paper. I will also place another small flower underneath the large cosmos. I'm draw small cosmos in the lower part of the paper. Still, this paper damp, so I'm touching the paper, so the color will be uh, spread nicely. Look at these uh, patterns. So there are some stains and some dirty marks. So I want to remove them, gently scrub the area using clean water and a brush. We are returning to the large cosmos now. I am adding some depth to the flower with dark quinacridone magenta. Keep drawing until you are satisfied with the colors and flower shapes. If you are not satisfied with them, you can make further touches up again. Next, draw the tiny stems using light sap green. Move your brush softly and quickly. Draw a large stem slowly. Then add another layer using the mixture of sap green and ultramarine dip. Next, wet the uh, lower part of the paper using big mop brush, large mop brush. And draw some leaves lower part of the painting. I'm making the color cerulean blue and ultramarine deep and sap green and draw some leaves lower part of the painting change the brush draw some uh, stems and the uh, small tiny flowers
then spread the reed with sap green and magenta and or uh, draw some dots. So as a result, you can see many tiny spots on the paper. So I will use those spots to draw stems or draw tiny flowers sometimes. Finally, I will clean up the, uh, this painting and give it, give it some depth in the painting. I'm still working on the final touch-ups on the painting. Finally, I will clean up and give it some depth. Alright, today's painting is complete. Before you go to subscribe and hit the like button and great comment for me. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.